Okay, the solution for day 76 is really quite straightforward. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add support for my static folder by adding that in. Then I can create a static folder to hold my stuff. Now inside there, I'm going to create another two folders, one for images and one for CSS. And I've put one in the other there, so let me drag that back out. And the reason I want that is because I want to store my CSS in one place. I want to store my images in another. I'm also going to set up my roots. I'm going to set up my roots to slash portfolio. I'm going to change that a little bit. So I do page equals, and it's an F string with three quotes and return page. And I'm going to copy that entire thing again, and I'm going to paste it down here and have my one for my link tree. Now, again, the subroutine names need to be changed. So I'm going to call this one portfolio because it does what it says in the tin there. I'm going to call this one link tree. My next job is bringing all the files in that I need. My image will be drag and dropped onto there. My CSS files, I'm actually going to go in and create. I'm going to create a file called portfolio.css. And I'm going to create another file called linktree.css. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to open those files up and I'm going to go and copy and paste those bits in. So we'll start with the CSS for the portfolio and we also get the CSS for the link tree. And again, the way I'm doing this is just opening them up in different browsers and copying and pasting there. So I've got all my resources there that I want. I think I've got another image in my portfolio that I need to bring in. So I'll pop that in there. So I've brought my images in that were on my original sites and I've brought my CSS files in. Close my static folder up now, so I don't need that for a minute. I need to be in main.py to do the rest. I'm going to start with my portfolio page. And I'm going to copy and paste the HTML in here, inside my three quotes. I do need to make a small change, and that is that my CSS file now isn't called style.txt. It's called forward slash static, forward slash CSS, forward slash portfolio. My image is also not just in images, it's in static slash images. And it's worth testing that out. Run the server. What have I broken? Put two commas up on here. Run the server. Pop it up in another window. Bring in your toolbar and go to forward slash portfolio. That should launch the portfolio page and it looks pretty good to me. I've got my image and all my styling from my original design. Let's go do that exact same thing now to my link tree. So there's where my link tree needs to go. I'll go and grab that code from my index.html file for my link tree. And once again, I'm changing two things. I need to change that CSS address because it's going to be in static slash CSS slash link tree dot CSS now. And my image is going to be in static slash images slash David Morgan. Again, stop it, reload it, launch it in a new window. And if we go to forward slash link tree, I think that's about right because yeah, I've set it to be 50% of the width of the window, haven't I? So maybe I need to rethink the CSS for this link tree because no one wants to see my big noggin, noggin that big, do they? But there we go. That's all working. That's all built. You've now got a web server serving your web pages. And if you send those links around, you're in a good place. You might want to change the original forward slash option, the route to go to the main page and just put some hyperlinks in there to go to those link tree or your portfolio page, but that's entirely up to you.